Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I've got 20 big money bolos coming your way. Items that I bought low and sold high, and some of these are pretty good. These items all sold for $35 or more. If you'd like to see items I sold for $35 or less, be sure to check out my bread and butter bolo series. Um, I have a whole playlist of those. And we're going to get started. So um, these items sold faster on eBay. And I cross post my items to Mercari and Poshmark. And I use an extension called List Perfectly. If you guys are interested in checking that out, I do have a demonstration video where I show you how to do it. It's amazing. It's quick. It's fast. It's easy. And if you want to try it, I have a referral code. It's Bolo Buddies. That'll get you 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. So definitely check that out. At the end of the video, it should pop up and you guys can click on the video to watch it um, if you want to see how it works. Okay, let's get started with some big money bolos. This willow tree set. Amazing. Okay, so I do pretty good with willow tree anyhow. Let me make sure. Yes. Um, I had I wanted to make sure my screen share was up. So because I got off on a little tangent there. Willow tree. I do pretty well with this, but the nativity set. Oh my goodness, you guys, if you find one of these, you are in the money. Um, I took a best offer of $175 on this, and the buyer paid shipping. I could have held out for more. These go for big bucks. Um, I did have the original packaging, but just this part of it. I didn't have the boxes. So um, yeah, $175 on that one. I paid $10 for it at a thrift store. And the buyer paid the shipping also. So definitely be on the lookout for the Willow Tree Nativity set. The next item. Okay, you guys, I love selling these. It's it's funny because one of my friends, I always message her. I'm like, look, Leah, I found more angels. Um, I picked these up at a garage sale for 25 cents each. And um, they're tree toppers. And it's kind of like a stiffened fabric or uh, carta pesta, I think is how you say it. Paper mache type deals. And I got this one. And I got this one for 25 cents each. And I sold these for $34 each. So the buyer, uh, the same buyer bought both of them. So they were all, all in for the two angels for $68. So super cool. Yeah, I always get super excited when I find these. The next item I sold is this, I think it's pr pronounced Hermes. You guys tell me if I got it right, because I know I called it Hermes once and everybody's like, no, and they, they commented on my video. And so I'm pretty sure it's Hermes. How am I doing, guys? Okay, so this Hermes tie also came from a thrift store, and I sold this for a best offer of $85, and the buyer paid shipping. I bought a bunch of ties um, in a lot, so um, I did not have much in it at all. The next item came out of a mystery box, and you guys may have seen that unboxing. Um, when I saw this in the box, I was like, oh, a screen mask, but... I was thinking that the Fun World division were the ones that I had sold in the past for big money. And this one was stamped Easter Unlimited. Um, I looked it up. I could not find another metallic blue. So I went ahead and priced it at $212. Um, I had some offers, but I ended up settling on an offer for $115 and the buyer paid shipping. Now, could I have waited until closer to Halloween and probably sold this for more? Yes, but I'm like, I got it in a mystery box, $115, I'm just gonna take it. So um, definitely, definitely a fun, uh, fun little piece and a nice bolo. So definitely be on the lookout for these. They are not all created equal, some are bread and butter, but if you see one and you can get it for the right price, definitely pick it up because some of them go for like hundreds 300s, 400s. Yes, I know I'm saying hundreds after 300 because it's silly. But anyway, um, they can go for a lot of money if you can get like the first gen and stuff like that. Uh, the next item I sold is this Disney um, signature collection Evil Queen doll, Snow White. Um, and I sold this for $50 and the buyer paid shipping and it sold pretty quick. This came from a garage sale. 
So I walked up to the garage sale and there were two tables full of vintage Barbies, new old stock. And I'm like, what do you want for all of them? So I bought them all. Um, I can't remember what I paid or, um, but it, the breakdown was I paid about $3. Maybe it was $4, three, between three and $4 for each one. Um, some were better than others, you know, some are like 15, $20 dolls. This one was 50. So pretty happy about that. And it sold quick. So I was pretty happy about that as well. The next item is actually, this was my husband's and I cannot remember where he probably got it at an estate sale, but I remember he came home and he's like, Hey, I picked up this like needlepoint cross stitch thing. Cause I remember you telling me about it and he sold this for $42.50. I'm, I tell him you should really watch my videos, but from time to time, I'm like, Hey, look for these. And he's always like, okay. So this was one item that he brought home. So he found a bolo and I think he paid two or $3 for this. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these Longenberger pottery woven tradition, sage green salt and pepper shakers. I have sold these before. So when I saw these at the garage sale, I think they were like a buck or two. I was like, yes, I will take those. And I sold these for a best offer of $40 and the buyer paid shipping. Um, Longenberger is known for their baskets. I have never tried selling their baskets, but if I see um, some of their pottery, I, I do pretty well with that. The next item I sold is this vintage Burberry's tie. This is a Burberry's with the S, so it is vintage. And I took a best offer of $65 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold, and this you guys may not know about, these are Fisher Price Little People, and some of them are definitely a bolo. So I went to a garage sale and they had all of these little sets set up. And I'm like, what do you want for all of them? So I wanna say I had probably about five bucks in this and I took a best, or, nope, I'm sorry, this sold for full asking price of $68 and the buyer paid shipping. And it sold fast. The next item, um, this was a rookie mistake. So this is kind of back when I was, I, I used to sell clothes and only clothes. And this was kind of when I was like, I wanna try new things. And I went to an estate sale and this was priced pretty high. I can't remember what I paid for it, but I paid too much. And it sat and it sat and it sat and it sat and then somebody messages me and they're like, you know, those sunglasses don't go with that. And I'm like, well, that's how I bought it. So that's how I'm listing it. And anybody buying it is gonna know that probably cause it's gonna be a collector, but that's probably why it didn't sell fast. Um, I still made money, but I took a best offer of $50 and the buyer paid shipping. And when I say it took a long time to sell, I'm talking years, probably two years. So um, yeah, it's a good one. And if it would have had the original shoes and probably the plastic covering, it probably would have went for more. But yeah, anyway, that's my story on that one. The next item I pulled out of a box, I want to say it was 25 cents or 50 cents, you guys. And I was like, ooh, a Lisa Frank. And I knew that Lisa Frank was a bolo when it came to stickers. I looked this addre address book up when I got home and I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm totally auctioning this. And it sold for $102.50. And it was used. Pre-owned, guys. Pre-owned. So pretty cool. Buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Hooked on Phonics. I paid $8 for this at a thrift store. And it sold for $51 in the buyer paid shipping. And Vintage Barbie. This was another Barbie that came came from the two tables. This one didn't have a box. It was just in a box with some other porcelain dolls. I was able to, to do like a Google image search on her to figure out who she was. And she had decent comps. So I went ahead and tried an auction and I sold her for $36 and the buyer paid shipping. And she is porcelain. And she had her shoes. The next item I sold is this 1988 pink vinyl Barbie doll furniture. It says MTC on the bottom, um, right there. And this came in a toy mystery box and it took a little while to sell. I thought it was gonna sell a lot quicker. It's from 1988, it's super cool. I actually have a bathtub 
listed right next to the same material that I got at a garage sale. But I took a best offer of $36 on this and the buyer paid shipping. The next item came from another garage sale. And I believe the items there were, it was another thing where I walked up and they had all of this new old stock stuff. And um, I said, what do you want for all of it? And I think they said $3 each. So I think, yeah, I think that's what it was. I'm mixing this one and the Barbie one up because I think that the Barbie one ended up being $4 and then these were like $3 each. So um, three bucks and I sold this for $38.25. Nope, I'm sorry, that was the furniture. $40, I took a best offer of $40 for this um, Periwinkle Secret of the Wings doll and it's from the Tinkerbell Fairy Series. But um, this one's a little harder to find. So she sold for $40 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage 1989 Ghost Elkomotion at Halloween animated. Um, it's like a ghost with a pumpkin head. But I did add a video, which I have since deleted. But I have a um, video on my YouTube channel that tells you how to add a video. So basically, they would go down here and hit play, and it would show them how this item works. Um, it says $49.99. That is what I started the auction out at. But somebody offered me $65, and I went ahead and accepted that, and the buyer paid shipping. Now, the problem, let me see, I can't remember. Tested, lights and sound work, motion is not working. So it sold for $65, and that was just with lights and sound. It may have been something they could fix. I'm not sure, but I was happy to take the $65. And that came out of a mystery box, if I remember correctly. The next item came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. My 344 pound um, jewelry haul that I did. And I sold this for $60 and the buyer paid shipping. This is Stella and Dot and it's a bib style necklace. It was really, really cool. Um, but yeah, I took a best offer of $60 on that one. The next item I picked up at a garage sale, a whole bunch of Bratz items. And when I say a whole bunch, it was a ton. So I probably have less than a dollar in all of this. And I sold it for $48 and the buyer paid shipping. So what I did is I separated them out into small lots and um, they've been doing pretty well. So the next item I sold is this Disney Cars uh, Talking Mater. It's like a die cast set. And I got this at a garage sale for $5. And anytime I can find toys that are new in the package that are, you know, things that I've heard of, I definitely pick them up. They, they tend to do well. This sold super quick. I believe it's a discontinued set because the comps were pretty good. And again, I took a $45 offer and the buyer paid shipping. All right, you guys, that is my 20 bolos. Uh, there should be a video popping up that's going to show you. Actually, I think it's over here. I don't know. Um, it's going to show you how to do lists perfectly. If you're interested in checking that out again, referral code Bolo Buddies will get you 30% off your first month. That's Bolo Buddies one word. And if you're not interested in that, then check out one of my bread and butter Bolo videos or one of my category Bolo videos, but there'll be some options popping up. So check out another video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, thanks for watching.